the species spotlight that we're doing today is actually on a cat that we don't have one living here at Big Cat Rescue. It's the Amorian leopard. And although we have lots of African leopards and Asian leopards here at the sanctuary, we do not have any Amorian leopards. And that's because they are one of the most, if not the most, critically endangered, rarest cats in the world. The current population is believed to be about 30. And they are found in the very, very far southeast corner of Russia, maybe right on the border of China, a little bit into Korea. And they live in the mountainous forest. They pretty much live in the areas where there's deep snow most of the year. The U.S. State Department, actually their wildlife division, has contacted Big Cat Rescue. They ask us because of our, the popularity of our podcast and, and so many people watch them and comment on them to really try to raise a little bit of awareness about the status of this cat and what's happening to it in the wild. So they look a little different than the leopards that you see here at the sanctuary. Uh, they're gonna have much thicker fur and it's kind of, uh, kind of strange these leopards actually, their fur color changes uh, with the seasons. So they're very pale, thick pale fur in the winter time, and in the summer they're, they're a much deeper reddish orange. The Amorian leopards, they have a much limited, a much more limited prey base being in the forest. And believe it or not, their main prey item is badgers. These cats are actually so rare that every time one of these animals is poached, every time that one is shot for eating livestock, it actually has a serious, a very serious impact on the chances for the whole species to survive. And, you know, people might say that, well, there's lots of leopards and they're very widespread, so what's the difference? A leopard is a leopard. And again, as we're losing these animals, as land is becoming so precious for them to live in the wild, it's a species that once it's gone, it's not coming back. And whether there's a few left in zoos, that's not the same as having a wild population. So in the home range of these leopards, you know, the, the people that live there don't hate Amorian leopards. They don't necessarily want to kill them, but every time a leopard kills one of their livestock, kills one of their animals, that's taking food away from their family. That's taking away their income and making their life even harder. So the agencies that are working to protect these animals in the wild, what they're doing is they're really doing a compensation program for the locals. So if a leopard does kill one of their, their livestock, the, the agencies will replace it. We as humans are gonna to have to set aside areas where we don't move into, where we don't cut down the trees, and where we leave some space left for these animals to live. And that's not just for the Amorian leopard, that's for the snow leopards, that's for the Amorian tigers. Almost all of the big predators in the wild are facing the same problems, and that's that human encroachment is just taking over everywhere they live. They need these wild spaces to survive, and we've got to find a way to preserve them.